What's up? So as you can clearly see, I got uh, my right side fairing off, exposing a lot of the goodies in here. Uh, you can, you know, you already know from the title what we're gonna do, and we're gonna remove the butterfly valve cable. So right here is the butterfly valve, and if you don't know what those are, those are. Um, the Corvettes have very similar things that basically, and I'm gonna quote this and I'm gonna throw it up there. This is, a, this is exactly from the Aprilia service manual of what this does. Now, this is for noise reduction. The butterfly valve is for noise reduction. So right now the bike is off. It's supposed to be like 75% closed when the bike's in idle, regardless of RPM range, below um, it's going to be completely closed but all it is is noise reduction um, and we all know about stock exhaust they're super quiet this is the servo this is the plug to the servo you're going to want to leave this plugged in if you unplug this it's going to throw a coat up on your dash and you're going to have to take it in and get it off or reinstall your cables all you're going to want to do is literally remove the cables that way this can move because this here, when this moves, there's no sensor telling it if it's in the right position or not. It just moves a little bit to be, you know, whether it's 75%, 100% open, etc. There's no sensor telling it it's actually in the proper position. So if you remove these cables, it will move and your bike will think everything's working fine, but you have your butterfly valve. If you are under warranty, this does void your warranty, obviously, because you're making a modification, but it is perfectly fine. You're not changing um, your fuel mapping or nothing like that. You don't need to do any of that. All it is is noise reduction. That is literally from the service manual of the Aprilia. So, we're gonna get to that, and uh, just remember, don't actually unplug your servo just the cables and we're gonna do that right now it's, it's, it takes two seconds it's really easy all you need to do these are the adjustments for the cable is loosen these up so you have enough slack to actually take the cable off and there's this is where it attaches on the servo and right here I don't know if you guys can see that right here it attaches to the butterfly valve probably hard to see I don't know if I'm getting that right I can't see but now if we were taking pieces off of the exhaust shortening the can moving the con catalytic converter etc then that might be a completely different story we just need to peel that back just to get the adjustment nuts on there all right just gonna need a 10 millimeter wrench and uh could use another 10 or something like that or just a little adjustable wrench just to hold in place while you loosen it all right so I've opted instead to take the two bolts off the servo and loosen that up rather than loosen this up too much because well drive me nuts and you just need to get enough slack on this cable so it comes around you can just pop that out just like if you were doing you know what I mean your uh, clutch cable or anything like that oh they guys are getting that yeah good good do that just comes around Pops out. Pops out. So then, and to take your uh, the two bolts off your servo, this is a 2016 RSV4 RF. Take the two bolts off your servo. Just don't forget to put it back in. It's an eight millimeter. 
so these are the ends that were attached to the servo and you want to make sure you take them off because if you don't take them off and you just detach it on the butterfly valve it's spring actuated so once you detach from there the spring just you know opens it up but if you don't detach it from the servo the servo will be moving because you, you still want to keep it plugged in or it's going to flash a code. So it's still going to be moving and these wires are just going to get all fucking bunched up and shit. So that'll set you up for a fucked up day and then you're guaranteed to get a fault. No promises. So if uh, you don't got a view, obviously I'm going to cut it out right here. But it's pretty simple. It's literally the exact same. Just two poles, like wedging it, uh, a bracket to keep the uh, cables in place. You know, loosen them and then Removing the cable so you don't have a lot of rattling and stuff, but be way better. Like I did, I you know I threw up a screenshot or whatever of exactly what uh, the Aprilia service manual says about the butterfly valve. Just remember, do not unplug the servo. Just remove the cables. That's all you need to do. It's it's really fucking simple. Really fucking simple. It's about a 10 minute job. I wasn't dicking around with you guys probably quicker, but that's yeah, pretty easy. If your bike is under warranty and you want to remove these, put these back on before you take it into the dealership. And if you do feel so inclined, because I'm going to do it, is just get a small piece of safety wire this is spring loaded so it's you know what i mean that i have to actually physically push in the spring keeps it open but if you want to just get a piece of a small piece of safety wire just to hold it open in case uh if you're you know apparently sometimes it's been known to occasionally uh you know close under full throttle i guess the back pressure or whatever so if you want you can just put a little piece of safety wire just to ensure that it won't get closed. So I'm going to turn my key on and it's going to go through its test cycle just like, you know, everything normally does before you actually hit the start button. There we go. So now I'm going to actually start it up and we're going to hear the difference with the valve open and the valve closed. Way fucking better. Way, way, way better. Definitely plays with that. It'll definitely have a nice, more throaty sound for the stock. And they just put it on there for noise emissions. It has nothing to do with anything else. That's It's not like removing your catalytic converter or taking your pipe off or nothing like that. It's just strictly for noise. So you just remove the cables, keep your servo plugged in. That way it can just do its test cycle and everything's good and you won't get your fucking code flashed on your dash and good to go. If you're on your warranty, just fucking leave it. If your bike's not on warranty anymore, fuck it, take it off. If you're worried, put them back on before you go to the dealer. Not a big deal. So, 
That's it.